This animation is about the default system of the direct route of taking pleasure. With this activated, it opens up a door into a new dimension of engagement with others, specific in touch and lovemaking. From early age, since we were little, we are reaching out to choose to touch something or somebody. Because we have more nerve endings in our fingertips than anywhere else in our body, except our mouth and our genitals, whenever we're touching a teddy or a brick or a screw or a pen. The information moves with 250 km per hour in a quarter of a second from the skin of our fingertips into the brain. In the brain itself, it will receive a label and a purpose. So the teddy is to cuddle, a pen is to write, a brick to construct, a screw to work, etc. So we're collecting as well on a deeper level textile data like the temperature. Is it smooth? Is it rough? Is it soft? Is it solid? Etc. So this specific information entering a certain part in our brain. But when we're touching the object and choosing to slow down the speed of our movement by half and slow it down by half again and touching very gentle, we might find something very pleasurable there in our hand and in our brain. And that's our pleasure center. So let's call this the direct route or the default system of touch or pleasure. Important to notice is while we are doing that we receive. One nerve in the brain receives information from another nerve in our fingertips. So we are doing and we receiving. We literally taking in. Now imagine we are touching our sweetheart or somebody the same way. So we are doing and receiving pleasure on our skin. First, we need permission or consent with the question, may I touch you? And that needs a verbal yes before we touch, that the other person knows what is coming towards them. So when the other person likes what is done to them and they're smiling and they're getting aroused and that gives us pleasure, we call that the indirect route of pleasure. Because we're receiving pleasure through our action that is causing a reaction in the other person. So both routes are important. The first route of direct pleasure and the second route of indirect pleasure. But what is if the direct route is not functioning? When the touching person feels shame or guilt or fear or embarrassment in the direct route of touch. So there's a specific confusion in the touching person that we call the touch of a confused hand. Without being able to feel direct pleasure, it's difficult to impossible to differentiate between serving and taking and who is it for when it comes to touch. If you can't take, you are unable to serve. So a touching person with a confused hand is dependent on the other person's reaction and happiness and if they are getting turned on. Your pleasure is my pleasure is a typical phrase in there or gift to get. And they try all different tricks out of their touch skill basket. It will show up in all other shadows that you can find in the wheel of consent. Call this neurological emergency pathways. 
Instead of getting turned on, the touched person's nervous system switches into numbness and freeze and is getting turned off. The quite common pretending and acting pleasure as a behavior, not to disappoint the touching person. Most often this touch feels invasive and the touched person judges the touching person who can't touch. Two is as well that the touched person can't ask for how they want to be touched and setting any boundaries when it's not the right way. So what is the solution for that? Activating the hands, the direct route of pleasure and learning to take, learning to ask for what you want, setting and communicating clear boundaries for what you don't want and learning to touch. Thank you for watching. The differentiation between the direct route of pleasure as the default system and the indirect route of pleasure.